What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and just wanted to uh, talk to you a minute today about uh, concealed carry. Just trying to uh, follow along with some of the other things I've done, uh, previous videos I've done with the concealed carry. And this one is uh, really more along the lines of uh, making sure that, that you're ready. You know, once you make uh, that decision to start to carry and get your concealed weapons permit, it's uh, it's one of those mental decisions that you have to make knowing that one day you're going to take somebody's life. Now, I've kind of spoken to this in a few of the other videos. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but that's not something that's necessarily going to be easy to live with um, depending on what type of background you have with firearms or military or law enforcement or whatever but when you start to carry any kind of weapon whether it be a knife or a gun you're making that decision that one day you're gonna have to take somebody's life it's not a if or anything like that one day it, you're, you're gonna have to take somebody's life and that's something that, that you're gonna have to live with uh, but now to be honest for me, if it comes down to my life or my family's life or, or friends or really just just taking another life in, in general, I mean, that's it's just a horrible thing to do. There, there's, fortunately, there's sick, demented, violent people out there uh, that want to do harm and that's fortunately just how it is. And you've got to make the decision one day to, to draw that weapon and, and take that person's life. But like I said, it, it's... It shouldn't be a tough decision, you know, if it, like it's coming down to, to my life, my family's, or another person's life to, to make that call. But some people have had some hesitation and it's cost them their life. So that's something that, that you really need to sit down and think about. You know, a lot of people think, oh, that, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm protecting people. It's, it's still not an easy thing to, to, have, to have to live with. You know, look at a lot of the, the veterans coming home, you know, from the war. They've they've had to take other people's lives. You know, there, there could have been, you know, women that were involved, kids were there that, that were involved because, you know, in, in those situations, women, kids, they're all being taught uh, to kill. So you have to make that call, and, and you can't have hesitation. Hesitation is, is another thing that you've, that you've got to get past when you start to carry you you cannot hesitate when you hesitate that that's when it, it's going to be your life you're not going to be the one going home so you, you got to make sure you're ready to go when that situation comes you got to make sure you're ready to go one way to do that is is through training you know, making sure that you do get some type of training past the cwp and one thing we always tell our students is the CWP is teaching you the laws and how to shoot your weapon. Our defensive classes are going to teach you how to fight with that weapon. So taking some kind of training past CWP. I'm not saying you have to take it with us. There's other great schools. There's other great instructors out there. So please look at some type of, of training. That, that's going to, to be the key thing. And then, you know, another key thing, especially once you make that decision, is, is having you know situational awareness and what I mean by situational awareness is watching and looking and seeing what's going on around you being able to process that information um, we're gonna have some great seminars coming up soon to kind of help you know with understanding you know situational awareness and how that's going to help you stay alive uh, but this we all do it don't lie I'm guilty of it we're all guilty of it you get down in that phone, you text messaging, you text messaging, and then bam, it's over. You could be dead, somebody you love could be dead, and this is where you were, instead of up and looking. If it's something where you've got to respond to a text message, pause what you're doing, step off to the side, out of the way of everything, and do what you need to do but out wandering around doing this we all do it we've all seen it done we've all seen people walk into stuff 
it, it all goes back to, to situational awareness. But this is not situational awareness. This is not situational awareness. Because the majority of the time you're talking, you're looking around, you're not paying attention. You are looking around, but you're not paying attention. You've got to make sure you're aware of what's going on. Um, my wife has asked me before, you know, why, why do you not sit with your back to the door? I don't want my back to the door. I don't want to see what's going on. I think that's just kind of took one of the things that's kind of embedded from you, embedded in me from the uh, the military. You know, once we get into a place if it's crowded, I get to a spot where my back's against the wall and I watch what's going on around me. You know, I can still carry on a conversation and, and watch what's going on around me. But being aware of your surroundings, what's going on, watching people's movements, eye contact, things like that are going to be key. And that's some of the things, like I said, we're going to go into with some of the uh, seminars that we've got coming up. So be on the lookout for those. You know, I think they're going to have some great information in them. Uh, I've tried to put some get together some, some real good content to uh, help everyone, you know, make sure they go home to their family at the end of the day. But just make sure you're ready when you start carrying and like like I've discussed in the uh, the video kind of where I talked about my everyday carry stuff you know carry once you make that decision it's not a fashion statement it's a decision you need to make that needs to be done every single day now are there going to be places where you you know can't carry any kind of weapon yes but that's that's how it is you know, we've got to make sure we're still, you know, abiding by the laws. But there's also some places where you can't carry a gun, where you can't carry a knife. Um, unfortunately, I don't have one right here on me, but a lot of the tactical pins, it looks, all you got to do is pull it out, it's pin it right. And those things are made out of some good steel and can do some damage if it needs to be done. Um, but make sure you're ready to carry once you've made that decision then look into getting training past the CWP. Um, it's, I can't stress that enough. I've talked about it in, in another video. I don't know why you wouldn't want to, to train, you know, carrying once you begin to carry. It's only gonna make you better at, at carrying and, and make you more aware of what's going on and make you ready to go so you're not hesitating. So please, Really sit down and think about it when you get ready to, to make that decision. If there's questions that, that you have as far as caring and things like that, you know, please reach out to me. All my contact information uh, is available on our website at www.scgunschool.com. I'll be glad to answer any one of your questions, uh, help you out in any way possible because we just want everybody to make sure they're safe and uh, ready to go when that fight comes because it will come. I promise it will come. And always remember folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.